Hey y'all, welcome back to Lightworks Intuitive Healing. I am your intuitive reader and healer here today to illuminate what the Most High wants to share with us. I hope that you all are having a blessed and positive day. If the content resonates with you, please like, share, comment, and subscribe and join the Lightwork family. I would love to have you. So today we're just going to tap in and get a general energy reading for the collective. Please keep in mind that this is a general message, so everything may not apply to you, but I hope and pray that there is something that resonates with you and that gives you some insight or helps you in some form. So let's go ahead and take a few deep breaths. Just the microphone. Okay. Okay. Most High God, Holy Spirit, Ascended Masters, Yeshua. Ancestors of the highest white light, angels and archangels, we thank you for your love, your guidance, your peace, your protection, your grace and mercy. Please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what it is that we need to know today. Archangel Michael, please close the door on anything that is not of the highest white light. Please help us to protect our energy. Archangel Raphael, please be here with us and help us to continue to heal on our spiritual journeys. Please and thank you. of soul journeys to see if we can get the overall energy. Okay, being called to take all three. So we have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. And indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. Okay. What I'm getting for this for someone is that you were at a stalemate for quite some time with making a move in a particular direction. Although you, your in, intuition was guiding you to move in a certain direction, you felt guilty and that caused you to um, remain stagnant and not move forward and just kind of stay in that position what I'm hearing is that you were just doubting your intuition and a part of you was hoping that maybe you were not hearing yourself correctly because whatever this decision is that you are needing to make is something that is a bittersweet situation maybe potentially leaving someone or something behind that you 
were not anticipating you would have to, to do or to leave. But you're being guided to always listen to your intuition. And with that, also it's very important to be sure that you're cleansing your energy thoroughly, regularly. Because if your energy is not cleansed and clear, you may be receiving projections from other people, other energies, wherever you are. You pick up energies all the time. And you may be uncertain about what your own thoughts are, what your own intuition is. And in that case, you may make a wrong move. So be sure that you are always following your intuition. What else, Holy Spirit? Okay, we're going to get a couple of Shaman's Dream Oracle cards. Oh. There may be a lot that needs to be said. This is strong energy with these cards. Side note for someone else, there's something that you've been feeling a nudge that you need to change, something you need to do regarding your health and wellness. You're intuitively getting messages all the time I'm hearing about this thing that you need to do, you need to start or stop. And you feel guilty because you've still been engaging or doing whatever this is that you know that you need to stop or you know that you need to start. So I'm being, being um, guided to tell you, one, to be patient with yourself and to just gradually work towards whatever this is. Um... Maybe if there's something that you're doing more frequently, then you should be start by just decreasing the amount of time that you're doing, whatever that is. Um, making yourself a note about why you want to stop or start doing whatever it is. Give yourself grace because you are, you know, you are human. The first step is acknowledging what it is that you need to start doing or stop doing. And then just gra gradually keep working at whatever it is. If you, I'm hearing some of you are just going really hard and doing things cold turkey or diving in and you become easily frustrated because you were not prepared to go that hard. So just take baby steps you're not in a race against anyone you're not in a race against time just forward movement just just get started or slow down if you're already starting okay so that was for somebody possibility for union No. Okay, as a side note, I'm being guided to tell you that card was not related to this message, but a side note for someone, there is a possibility for a sacred union or spiritual union for you. But I'm not tapping into that particular energy right now. Something else. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So we have overwhelm and plenty overflow. Reconciliations.
Light of the Land Ancestral Wisdom. For someone, this guilt that you're feeling is about leaving loved ones, family members, someone that you're close to behind. There's someone that is moving away from a community, a family, a business, some type of, of place that you're leaving from that you feel guilty about leaving behind. There's some of you that have been disconnected from family members and you feel guilty because you don't intend to, uh, you don't see a reconciliation coming. Some of you feel guilty because you want to reconcile, but it's not in your best interest or your intuition is guiding you um, in another direction. Your ancestors are sending you messages energetically through your intuition. Um, they're trying to give you wisdom and knowledge on how to proceed, how to move forward. They're also wanting to let you know that you're going to have an abundance of love and people around you. You're going to have an overflow of abundance. People around you, soul, family, and potentially some of these relationships in your family or friendships that you want to reconcile, potentially that's a possibility in the future also for some of you. You're being called to focus on your soul's growth. There are many of you that feel guilty because you feel yourself progressing. You feel yourself gaining knowledge and uh, stepping into a new, I'm hearing dimensions, um, a new dimension or a new place in your life. And you're being called to keep moving forward and continue to work on yourself individually. And you feel guilty because you feel as though you should be sharing this knowledge with these family members or people around you that could benefit from it. However, your ancestors and spirit guides in the most high is guiding you to continue on your soul's journey. Continue to gain more knowledge, continue to go within, meditate, connect with your ancestors and stay focused on what it is that the most high has for you. I'm hearing that eventually you will have the opportunity to help the people that you're concerned about. But at this time, you are not prepared to go back to that place or engage right now with those people. There is a reason why the Most High wants you to uh, continue growing, continue learning before you're prepared to do that. There may be something that may trigger you when it comes to these people or places. There may be something that will uh, set you back is what I'm hearing. Anything else from this? Okay. The bottom of the deck, we have netcaster preparations come to fruition. So just as I was saying, with, with preparation, with more attaining more knowledge, with growing, you will be able to manifest these realities into your fruition, into your reality. I'm sorry, till they come to fruition in your reality, where you can potentially reconcile and 
uh, share the knowledge that you have, share everything that you're learning with the loved ones and friends or people that you are leaving behind. Anything else? I'm going to get you a postcard from Spirit. But first, I'm being called to get a card from the Psychic Tarot deck. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Don't feel guilty. Look at it as, because there's some energies of some of you are really struggling with moving forward because but you possibly could have been the person in these relationships that everyone relied on, I'm hearing. And you feel like you're pulling the rug from underneath someone or some type of situation but if you think about it in this manner if these are your loved ones and they've been genuine and true to you loyal to you and good to you but you still have to leave them when you return to them more knowledgeable more spiritually sound you will be able to bless them and help them and there won't be any more stagnancy. You'll help them to grow as well. So, th whoa. Think about it as an investment for yourself, for your family, for your friends group, for your business, or whatever it is that you're leaving behind. Think of it as an investment for all of you and for humanity. Overall, this channel is really about, um, is geared toward the chosen light workers, earth angels, star seeds, um, people that are of the light and want to make a change and help humanity overall and bring the light into all the darkness that we're experiencing right now. So overall... You have a really big mission to help the world, not only the people that you're, you know, having difficulty leaving behind, but it's for the greater good of all humanity, including the people that you're leaving behind. So think of it that way. Firm Foundation came out inverted, and that makes sense with the indecision card coming out. For some of you, you're concerned that you're leaving a situation that will put a damper on the foundation because you are the person to carry everything. And some of you are nervous about going into this new chapter. Yeah, nervous about moving on at the bottom of the deck. But with God guiding you, the most high, your angels and ancestors... You can't go wrong. Whatever they're guiding you to, be it another lesson, that's, it may be a difficult lesson you're being guided to, but whatever that is, it's going to be beneficial for you. I know that that might sound a little bit odd, but with each lesson that we learn, we gain knowledge and it strengthens us, allowing us to grow to learn more to have more to teach other people so it's like the most high is it's like I'm, I'm seeing like divine intervention the most high is bringing not I won't say a tower but a sudden change into your world and it can be difficult to adjust but just know that whether it's more lessons that you're headed towards right now, whatever it is, 
you are safe, you are protected, and you are being divinely guided. And whatever that is, the Most High will have a something for you there. And you'll definitely be on a firm foundation. You don't you don't have to worry about wanting for anything when you're in alignment with the most high. Yeah, prosperity begins. What else, Holy Spirit? Victory and success and accelerated motion. Yeah, just like I said, divine intervention. The most high is kind of throwing you into something new in an accelerated motion. And there will be victory and success. This came out semi-inverted. So again, with the indecision, it's letting me know that there is some resistance. There's some hesitancy on your part. Um... Because although your angels and ancestors in the Most High can guide you to this place, you have to put some effort for it. Now, trust me, if the Most High is adamant about you doing something and doing it now, the Most High is going to bring that tower to you and you will be forced to move forward. But it seems to me that they're allowing you, they're trying to show you the importance and the value and the benefits of you making this move willingly. You're going to be victorious. You're going to have prosperity. You will have an overflow. You just have to trust. You have to trust in the most high. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, bottom of the deck. Holy Spirit, please speak. Please and thank you. Movement, choices, decisions. So they're leaving it just as I said that. They want you to move and make these choices and decisions. They don't want to have to force a tower on you in order for you to get to where you need to be what's beneath that passion ignited yes they want you to see and get excited foundation and achievements this is all very beautiful there's going to be something very very significant about this move and wherever it is is that you're going house and family could be significant rainbows there could be a business this is like the emperor card a business that you're meant to begin I'm also seeing a dual meaning for this. It's like <laughs> I'm seeing like the angels and answers, ancestors and the most high kind of looking with their hands crossed. Like, when is this person going to move? When is this person going to take action? They're waiting for you. They've been nudging you. Yeah, intuition oh, speaks, Holy Spirit. Please speak. They're sending you messages constantly. And you're hearing them. I'm getting that you are hearing them. But something is just really holding you back. And I'm getting for some of you, it really is that you have some energies being projected onto you. Which is causing a bit of confusion. So you are being called to really cleanse your energy. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Yeah. Triumphant success. This is like the Ace of Swords. So the Holy Spirit is saying, this is true. You can expect this prosperity, this victory and success and triumphant win. If you trust the divine, trust the most high, trust your ancestors and angels and move forward. There's a very strong energy of projection for someone. I'm going to, yeah, spiritual strength. Be strong. This is your ascending masters. 
your angels and ancestors telling you, be strong. You can do this. Don't worry. You'll come back from this, whatever this is, this move you need to make. So spiritually sound and strong with the ability to help so many people. Heart chakra. Yeah, you're a very loving and kind person. And that's why it's, it's hard for you. You're in this stage of mental conflict with the indecision card. And you feel like without you, you'll leave the situation in balance. Similar to with the firm foundation coming out this way, you feel like you're pulling a rug from someone. But let me tell you this, just as you know that God will provide for you, you depend on God to handle all of your affairs. The people that you're concerned about, they could have the same access to God. They could be certain just like you are that the Most High is going to take care of everything. You can't be everything for everyone. When God says move, it's time to move. As hard as it is. You don't want to have that surprise tower coming in by the Most High. Because, again, wow, fulfillment of wishes. It's like whatever you're going towards is going to be very lucrative, abundant. I, this is another card of overflow. Can you see this? Both cards are showing overflow. You're going to have plenty. Fulfillment of wishes. This new life is going to be very beautiful. And if the Most High allows it, these people may be able to reconcile with you. Possibly. But you can't. You can't wait around to see. You have to. You have to move. What else, Holy Spirit? Let's get one more. Solar plexus chakra. Your willpower. Okay, I'm hearing. I'm hearing your will. Something about against your will. The solar plexus chakra is all about willpower, confidence, um, self-esteem. So there may be some of you that are feeling like you may not be able to accomplish whatever this is. But again, whatever it is, you're being guided by your ancestors, your angels, your, your uh, spirit guides in the most high. So God is saying... Get started and allow me to meet you there. Allow me to help you with whatever this is. You just have to get started. So don't focus so much on what you think you are or not capable of doing. All right. Confident defeat. Okay. What else, Holy Spirit? Okay. We're going to get a postcard from Spirit and then we'll close this. What should we be aware of, Spirit? Thank you for the messages. Okay, this is a postcard from Spirit. It reads, Dearest you, we know everything in the universe is perfect, even in its flaws, and we view the cre creations of Spirit in total awe. All is unique, yet part of a unity of existence. 
but the human experience is a little different from ours. You tend to have a specific standard for what you consider ideal, and this isn't serving you right now. So forget your idea of perfection and see through the eyes, see through our eyes, allowing things to be as they are without judgment. Don't wait until a perfect moment or mood to start something. Instead, enter life with all its flossomeness. You are exactly where you are supposed to be. Let others be who they are too, imperfect and human, complex or simple. It does not matter, for there is always something to discover, experience, and love. When you drop the need for an ideal, you uncover the real treasure, which will be far more interesting and valuable. Loving you like crazy. So that is a perfect way to end this reading. The Most High God, Spirit, your ancestors, they're saying you have to release your expectations for how things are going to play out. You have to allow the people that you love in your life to live and do what they need to do just as well as you doing what you need to do. They want you to have this prosperity, the fulfillment of wishes, this overflow of abundance, this victory and success. But you can't get there if you're holding on to what you think it needs to be and unable to move because of guilt or fear or whatever it is. So they're basically saying, go with the flow of the universe. Go with the flow of the Most High God. They're guiding you right now. You are sure to win. You are sure to have everything that you desire. trust you have to trust in the most high God they love you they are rooting for you they want you to step into this let me get you a message from heaven What else, Holy Spirit? There's something else here. Two, I'm hearing. I'm being called to tell you again, we love you, love you, love you. Somebody's ancestors, okay? They wanted to see this fly so they can let you know, yes, they love you like crazy. You are being guided. You are being showered with love energetically wow your intuition is strong we are reaching out to help yes the first of the two cards first of the, oh, I can't speak two of the three first cards were about intuition what they're telling you what they're trying to connect with you the messages they're sending you, you're getting them. You're for sure getting the messages, but you're just stuck on whatever it is that you're leaving, feeling guilty about it. Trust me, if these people are worth having in your life, so no, it's no mistake that reconciliation is falling right beneath guilt, okay? So the divine is letting you know that if if these people are true and genuine and good loving people and have your best interests and you have to temporarily temporarily leave them for whatever reason, there's a possibility that they will be able to come with you later on and share this beautiful life that you're, you're going to have. But you cannot stick around and not move. You have to follow the divine. We will assist you in helping the important people in your life. Use love. If the Holy Spirit ain't speaking today, they're telling you, don't worry, we got them too. 44, this is a master number. 
44 could be significant to you. That's all about protection. And master numbers are also about ascendant masters. You have so much love and protection all around you. They're like, look, we know you have to go. We will assist you in helping important people in your life. They're letting you know, don't worry about them. We got them. We got you and we got them. So I love you. This was your reading. Do not feel guilty. Get excited is what I'm hearing. Your life is about to take off in the most positive way. If the Most High sees fit for these people to come with you or to, to meet up with you later on down the line or whatever it may be, that will happen. You must trust in the, in the divine and just move forward. Do not worry. They have you. They've sent so many. Everything came together with this message. The, in, your intuition is on point. You are hearing them correctly is what I'm hearing. Continue to cleanse your energy. Continue to use discernment when making your moves and deciphering what's your energy and what isn't your energy. And go ahead and move forward. I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud of you. Whatever this is that you're going towards is going to be an abundance of overflow, of a fulfillment of your wishes, something beautiful, something that you've prayed about, I'm hearing. So if you like the content, please like, share, comment, and subscribe and join the Lightwork family. Hit the notification bell. Until next time, peace and blessings. I love you all. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for the messages. We send this energy back to Source to be transmuted into love, light, and positivity. Please and thank you. Ashaya.